I'm Brad, I'm at the Double D Trailer Factory. We just want to take a few moments to show you some of the features and benefits on the Safe Tack. This is a four horse slant. It's a custom trailer that was ordered by some folks and we're getting ready to deliver, but uh, I want to share a few items with you before it heads out. So come on and we'll take a look. We'll start out inside the dressing area. We have a Lisa latch on all doors. You can see what this latch looks like before I go inside. Just keeps the wind from slamming your doors around while you're using those. Okay, um, the standard trailer has a, a four foot short wall, which is what we have in this one, four by eight. And uh, this particular customer chose a few options that are not standard. One of those, they decided to add an extra saddle rack post. Now the safe tack design is in the rear with four saddle racks because it's a four horse trailer. These guys wanted to be able to move their saddles from the back up to the front and utilize their rear tack compartment as a storage area for items other than saddles. So we added this extra post and you can easily um, raise or lower the height of this rack and obviously add additional racks on if you wanted to. The mat comes standard in the floor. They also elected to add a tack storage uh, little chest in here. Works great for just throwing items inside boots or whatnot. Just a uh, convenient little step also so you could sit down if you wanted to change your shoes or what have you or take a break. And of course you could step up inside of the trailer too. They added carpet to the jack sheet wall and on top of the nose. That carpet is normally not in here. You can see that the, the roof of this trailer, if you'll notice, it's fully insulated from front to rear. This is the Safe Bump uh, roof technology, and it works great for a dressing room trailer because, um, you know, if you get inside and you want to lay down and take a nap or what have you, your roof's already insulated. So during the hot summer months, you wouldn't have to worry about as much heat inside. We have two lights in here, one up in the nose, one directly over this door. Both are double double dome RV. That's a tongue twister. But we have these wired to a convenient switch. So if you step up, you can just flip the switch off and on on that RV rocker switch. Now the picture window is standard. You'll notice these are 20 by 51 inch. Large windows in the nose, large windows here. Uh, all the windows will slide and they have screens in them. And uh, the bridle hangers were just an extra little add-on on this particular trailer. We would normally have a walkthrough door here included from the front to the rear. That way if you're uh, trail riding or camping and you want to be able to go to the back and utilize that horse space for camping, you can certainly do that. That door is standard. It's included in our standard price. These folks that ordered this trailer, they're not planning to camp or sleep in here. They're just going to use it for tax storage and uh, uh, different, different accessories and they felt that it would be more beneficial to have the optional walkthrough door or front stall escape door um, on their front stall there. And so we deleted the walkthrough door and we added an optional front stall escape door. And of course you can see with the Lisa latch set up, you'll be able to get to either door with the doors in the open position and even with the wind blowing it's not going to make any difference. Uh, this trailer is built with Z-Frame technology and of course Z simply stands for zinc. It's quite a bit stronger than an aluminum frame trailer or an aluminum chassis. We don't have to paint it, so it's friendly for the environment and it's very safe for your horses. We don't have to worry about cracking or breaking uh, on the frame over the years um, and some of the other properties associated with aluminum. The exterior skin, you probably can't tell the difference just looking at it, but this is a product we call Galvalite. Uh, again, we like using zinc, which Galvalite is a zinc product, simply because it offers quite a bit more strength than, uh, than what an aluminum sheet might would. We moved the latches on these windows. We used to have a, a top latch. We moved it down to a mid-latch system. It's just a little bit easier to reach, and the bars in the windows do fold independent of each other. Um, I like the way all the parts and the door latches are nice and smooth. There's not any sharp edges on anything. That way you don't have to worry about cutting your hand or, uh, or anything like that while you're using. The running board step down the dressing room side, that's included. 
that's an aluminum step so if you are camping or you're at a show you just got a nice little place here for the kids to sit down and make them sit down and listen for a few minutes or set some cups there or whatever you want to do aluminum bolt on fenders uh, i'm not sure if this is a good feature but unfortunately with road debris and different things tires do puncture sometimes and if you're driving and a tire punctures and, and deflates, uh, there's a good chance it's just gonna beat that fender off. And so by having an easily replaceable fender, to me that is a good feature. It's, a, it's just an aluminum bolt on. You can unbolt it and take it right off. Okay, if we walk around to the back, the trailer comes standard as a step up. Uh, these customers wanted a ramp load. And uh, I, I like the way this operates. It's all, all the hardware is either stainless or zinc or aluminum. It's just non-rusting items and really works well. Uh, this ramp, I don't know if you can kind of get an idea of that, but my guess is it weighs somewhere around 20 pounds. Very easy to operate. That's what we're looking for. We have a low incline mount, so you don't have to worry as much about your horses slipping on this ramp. It's a really nice traction surface. Um, if we take a look here, uh, the light on the back is a brake light and a turn signal. So if you were to give your left turn signal, half the light will light up and of course the same on the right. And then if you depress your brake pedal, uh, the entire light would, uh, would light up. And the advantage to that is by having these lights up high, uh, the folks that are behind you are just able to see. Now the latches are a one hand operation. We use a, an aluminum pipe, aluminum latch, so we're not generating any rust here. I like that you can open and close these, even if you have a horse in one hand, open and close with the other. We have one key that fits every lock on the trailer. And I'm just gonna leave that door like so, cause it's not that windy today, but we do have, I'll latch this one. You do have a latch on that door so that it'll not move around from, uh, from the wind. Okay, this is the safe tack design. And we have two more saddle racks up front. Uh, and these are adjustable in height. You can add as many or as few as you want. The bridle hangers come standard. The light inside is standard. And that light operates off of the rear remote switch, which is right here. You could just flip this light switch on and it operates your interior lights as well as your uh, light inside the tack box. But the advantage of the safe tack is exactly what it says. It's safe. You, can, uh, you have the entire back end of the trailer open and available for loading and unloading. We installed an extra divider here. So if you have a horse in here and you're opening up your doors, you don't have to worry about this guy trying to back out on top of you. Easy to open, easy to close, one hand, one thumb. This is a spring-loaded latch, or excuse me, a spring-loaded divider, meaning it's trying to, to open on me as I'm holding this, and I like that because it'll just come around here to the side and it stays. I don't have to try to hold it with one hand while I'm loading my horses with the other hand. If we step up inside, trailer normally comes standard with a 2x8 pressure-treated pine uh, wood floor. This, uh, these customers elected to have the rumber floor option rumber r-u-m-b-e-r -E that's like lumber with an r it's a recycled tire product um, this floor is uh, is solid rubber or solid recycled tires it's approximately two inches thick and roughly seven and a half inches wide this is the floor if you were to look underneath you would see the bottom side of of uh, these black boards underneath there so there's nothing else there other than the cross members which are a minimum of 16 inch centers what I like about rumber flooring, um, you'll notice we don't have a mat in here, yay. And uh, by not having a mat, we don't have to drag these heavy mats out each and every time you use your trailer and get ready to clean it. We run the grooves lengthways, so you simply take a water hose and just hose it out easily. Rumber floors transfer the least amount of heat, least amount of noise, and least amount of vibration, which is uh, critical when hauling horses and reducing stress. Another thing that, that we do in the safe tack design, uh, we use all handmade padding here at the factory. We have a guy wearing an apron that loves to sew pads. And uh, these are really thick, so just additional comfort for your horses. 
We use this tubular. I think you'll enjoy the tubular barred head divider. And the purpose behind that is so that, uh, first of all, your horses can see. You can see there's a lot of light passing through this trailer. Even though we're on the dark side here, it's still well lit, so your horses are not walking into a, a dark and a combining area, and we want to minimize that stress. We've got light coming through. We also have airflow coming through, which is very important. Um, this gate is not standard. This is called a front stall storage partition, oftentimes referred to as a stud gate. These particular customers wanted this one installed rather than on the front stall, they wanted it in the middle stall. A lot of people will use this on the front stall so you can throw things down inside of here and for camping like tables, chairs, hay, grain feed, whatever and it'll prevent those items from rolling up underneath your horse's legs. These folks are, uh, are horse breeders and wanted to be able to haul a mare and a baby in the front and a mare and a baby in the back. So they'll lift out the front divider, lift out the third divider and, and have basically two uh, box stall configurations. And of course with the safe tack you can see that we can easily open up all of these dividers, uh, safely walk our first guy in, tie him or her up, and then step back so you're always away from your horse. We've got the divider in between us and the horse, and you just close that off. We have a nice slam latch. Uh, it's a positive action. There's no noise and vibration taking place there, which is really important when you're hauling. And uh, again, you can just easily open and close that latch. I love the latches. And then another thing to point out, this has the, the safe kick technology. Now safe kick is simply a block of high density styrofoam insulation that's about two pounds per square foot, which is double the density of the pink stuff you would normally go to Lowe's and buy. Uh, this is designed especially for absorbing impacts. And then uh, on top of the styrofoam, we have a, a material we call polylite. It's 95% plastic and 5% rubber. So it's got some give. And what happens is once your horse uh, kicks this, it'll actually flex and it will absorb that impact. It's much easier on your horse's legs and feet, uh, really reduces the risk of injury. And of course, it's just an extremely durable wall line or something that holds up very well for us. Okay, um, I don't think I mentioned the safe, the safe bump roof technology that we use inside of the horse area as well. Safe bump is, is designed in a similar fashion as the safe kick, meaning you have a block of high density styrofoam insulation. Uh, the material of the roof on top is white because white reflects more heat than any other color. Remember, aluminum is a great conductor of heat. Mill finish aluminum, which is the shiny stuff, that's an unpainted uh, raw material. This material will reach a temperature of approximately 191 degrees in the summertime. So if we have a mill finish aluminum roof, we're really baking our horses at 191 degrees. We don't want to do that. Uh, white material on top to reflect the heat, insulation, and then white on bottom for safety. So now if we have a horse that starts jumping up and down and spooked for whatever reason, uh, it's much safer on your horse's head and reduces uh, the risk of injury and it'll absorb that impact. We'll use a lay flat tie ring just to prevent uh, from injuring your horse's eye or potential for that. Okay, this is the safe tack four horse trailer. Uh, you can walk around and just get a shot of the other side. We have tie loops for each horse on the opposite side. You can choose how many loops you want, the location of the loops. Uh, you can customize your new safe tack by adding additional height, additional footage if you're hauling warm bloods or larger size horses and uh, get everything exactly like you need and exactly like you want. For more information, you can go to our website at www.doubledtrailers.com or give us a call toll free 1-800-435-6274.